Okay, the radios are charged. The dog is loaded up. It's time for another adventure. CQ, CQ, CQ. This is November 1, Charlie Lima, Charlie. Summit's on the air. Good morning. It's Jacob, W6RWS. <laughs> Who's this guy? You got a GoPro. <laughs> Levi. Levi. What's your call? Uh, KN6 UID. KN6, Kilo November 6, Uniform India Bravo. All right, I like it. Where are we going today? Iron Mountain. Iron Mountain. Yeah, well, soda. I guess we best get cracking. Yeah, I better rock this before all of San Diego shows up. Yeah, no kidding. This is, <laughs> this is absolutely crazy. We're here at 6 a.m. The sun has not even popped over the mountains yet. Um, and the parking lot's half full. <laughs> And it looks like the 405 freeway out here, so let's get cracking. Ready to go, Ray? Yep. Let's go. Well, Levi. When did you uh, get into ham radio? When? Yeah. Um, honestly, like maybe three, four months ago. Okay. I, I got my license then, but. Okay. Six months ago. All so right. I, I tried to get my license and then miserably failed. <laughs> And then I had to, and then I kind of just forgot about it. Uh -huh. And then it came back up and I studied some more and I got my license. Okay. You like doing summits on the air? Um, yeah, it's fun. Cool idea, but I picked up one mountain and did it one time. So. Yeah. Number two, huh? Number two. Oh, okay. I think I was with you on that one. Yes, you were. Ah, oh, very cool. Final push. Pleasant uh, trail. Lots of switchbacks. Nothing too cool. All right, sun's just popped over the ridge line there. And uh, kind of balmy out today, humid. Uh, it's going to be a bit uncomfortable later this afternoon for sure. So, a lot of people out here. Quite a few people already on the way down. Five, eight. Check out this antennas Levi's got up here. It's a J pole, way up on that pushing pole, push up pole. He's going to be killing it. Kilo November 6, Uniform India Bravo, uh, calling CQ from Iron Mountain, Whiskey 6 slash Sierra Charlie 214, calling CQ and listening. At Iron Mountain Station, oh. this is AJ6PJ. I need your call sign again. AJ6PJ? AJ6PJ, this is Kilo November 6. Uniform India Bravo. Kilo November 6, Uniform India Bravo. Thank you, Kilo November 6, Uniform India Bravo. Your signal is very clear this morning. Congratulations for getting up so early. AJ6 PJ. Thanks. Uh, you are 5'9 also. Great signal. Hey, uh, 73. 73 KN6 UIB. 
Summit to Summit, please call back. Yeah, this is Kilo Golf 6, Mike Zulu Sierra. Kilo Golf 6, Mike Zulu Sierra. QSL? QSL, I have you as Kilo uh, Golf 6, Mike Zulu Sierra. Roger, Roger, Roger. You are 5 and 2, 52, 5 and 2, two. on Whitaker Peak. Okay, I have your mountain designator as Whiskey 6, Sierra Charlie 076. QSL? QSL, QSL. My report, please. My report. You report. You are 5959, QSL? QSL, thank you for the 59. Kilo November 6, Uniform November Bravo. This is Kilo Golf 6, Mike Zulu. Thank you, Tom. QSL, QSL. Uh, can I get your Tango call sign again? Echo, I'm, uh, you I'm with that. Uh, can 6 uh, go ahead. Hello, this is Kilo Mike 6, Bravo, Romeo Yankee. CQ Soda, CQ Soda, this is Kilo November 6, Uniform, India, Bravo. Calling CQ for summits on the air, calling CQ and listening. Kilo India 6, November Alpha, Zulu. Okay, I have you as Kilo India 6, November Alpha Zulu, QSL. Uh, I'm in San Diego, Whiskey 6, Sierra Charlie 214, you are 59. Thanks for the contact in uh, Cerritos. Cerritos. Uh, 73, KN6, UIB. Uh, KN6, UIB is killing it up there on 2 meter. Um, it's just awesome. And uh, so, yeah, I'm set up here with the K6 ARK antenna. Um, it is an NFED random wire. It's got a counterpoise on it going up to my little uh, push-up pole up there on the up on uh, right near the peak and I'm gonna load it up with a KX2 here. We're gonna look work a little CW um, but uh, before we do that I want to talk about spotting. Uh, I haven't talked about that much from from a summit um, so if you're working sideband especially or you know anything really it makes it so much easier to get contacts if you're spotted. Now you noticed, you may have noticed, uh, uh, W6RWS had spotted uh, KI6UIB or KN6UIB there. And uh, that certainly helps for chasers to know that where you're at, what frequency you're on and go get them. And what mode, obviously. So um, that's that will help out whether you're running CW, FM, sideband, but um, it's certainly harder to get uh, just random contacts if you're not spotted. Um, especially running like five watt sideband, it's pretty darn difficult. Now, um, activators have a lot of choices around spotting now. Uh, it's incredible. And we're gonna talk about a new one uh, that we're gonna use today that I've never used before uh, to spot myself. And uh, we'll cover that last. But the first one is the easiest, of course, you use your cell phone and you can use the website, uh, Soda Watch, to create your spot. Um, you, there's several apps. Uh, my logging application, OutD, does it right from the app, which is kind of nice. Um, another way of doing it is via SMS. Um, once you're set up, you can send an SMS to a particular uh, site and you're set up. Now, um, you can send an SMS via your phone, obviously. Um, those go through when you don't have data, uh, but you do have cell service because an actual SMS message will use a different uh, mechanism, doesn't use the data portion of your cell service. The, um, another way to use uh, messaging is to um, use a satellite communicator like I have on my backpack. It's a in Garmin inReach, and once you're set up to do that, they have to basically set you up so it recognizes your uh, inReach number. Then you can spot using that, and that is pretty awesome. Um, it and it, I've never had any issues with that except last weekend when I got to the top of the summit, that was dead. 
<laughs> I don't know why, but it wasn't working. I didn't have cell service. I had no way to spot myself. Now, for you guys that do CW, Morse code, what you can do if you remember to do it before you leave is set up an alert. And once your alert is set up um, for the summit you're going to and the time frame, um, once you get up there and start sending CQ, CQ, DE, your call sign, crank your call sign out a couple times, um, the RBN network will pick you up. And there is uh, one or more servers called RBN Hole out there on the internet that are scouring or trolling the RBN network. And if, they, if it says, hey, N1CLC, he's got an alert out. And as long as the alert falls to within one hour before your activation or three hours after, it will post your, your spot for you, which is super cool. Now, um, you know, when I started out, I was doing sideband, I didn't even know about spotting and I got skunked a few times. So um, yeah, that hurts. But if you're running sideband, this whole, you know, create an alert and everything is great uh, because your friends may check that and say, oh, hey, Chris is gonna be out there on a summit around this time. I'm gonna start listening around this frequency that he's got on there and uh, see if I can get him. Now, um, but that's pretty much it. it and, there's a lot of other ways to spot. You can call somebody on a uh, repeater and uh, hams are really awesome. They'll they'll spot for you. Say, hey, can you spot me on Soda Watch or something? And nine times out of ten, people are falling over themselves to help you out. Um, you can also get people on sideband. If you can kind of get on the end of a QSO, wait till they're done, see if you can make a contact. They get you a contact, but you can also ask those guys to spot you or they might offer to do it for you. Um, but that's really the only way you're gonna get spotted with sideband is trying to go out and get some help. But there's a new way to get spotted using digital that's, that's gonna be pretty darn cool and may be very much more reliable um, than just trying to find somebody, especially if you're only running five watts, uh, QRP. And um, of course, once you get spotted, you're loving it on QRP, especially with the solar conditions the way they are. It's been pretty darn good. So what we're going to do is we're going to use something that's currently in beta, uh, being developed by Brian. And um, it is a really inventive way of spotting yourself with FT8. Now, if you're not familiar with the FT8 mode, it's a digital mode um, that uses basically allows you to communicate with other stations below the noise level. So um, it is a really cool punch through the high noise environment and um, contact folks. And what the way it works is you send out a particular message and, and Brian will, of course, has much better, have really good instructions on his website that I'll post here uh, and I'll link to it at the bottom. Uh, but it, you, you set up your call sign with the um, regions that you'll be activating in, the association slash regions that you'll be activating in. You don't need to enter in the numbers. You do that when you start the uh, spot process. You punch in all the frequencies that you might be using. Um, and you can also put some commands in there. And then when you go, when it's time, and I'll show you this, so some screenshots here is you pick the summit, the frequency that you've already selected, and uh, frequency mode combination. And what happens is uh, once you've configured your phone application um, with a couple of things, one, his app, secondly, an FT8 app, which I have on my phone, um, it, it calculates all the possible permutations of summit and frequency mode and I have over 500,000 with a very small collection of, of areas, but it takes all the summits from those areas and then calculates all the possibilities and gives you up to, I think it's about a four digit code that, that goes after your call sign. So mine would be N1CLC slash, you know, NB31, for example. And that might mean um, this frequency, this summit, um, 
and of course it gets sent out. And what that does, it, it just squeaks, squawks that out, your call sign slash, and then some suffix that's been calculated. The uh, PSK reporting network will pick that up and his program, like RBN Hole, trolls the PSK reporting network and spots that and says, oh, hey, I got this guy in my database um, and I've got this combination. Let me create a spot form. So that's what we're gonna do today. Um, we're gonna use FT8 in a very kind of, um, <laughs> FT8 is super robust. Um, we're not even gonna hook my cell phone to the radio. We're just gonna start playing the FT8 signal to the mic on the KX2 and see if we can get spotted. So um, I know that's a very long intro. Um, there's a lot more to it um, in, in detail, and that's all on Brian's website on how to set that up. It's, uh, it's very cool, it's uh, extremely inventive, and uh, so we're gonna give that a try today and see if we can't get spotted. Now, up here on Iron Mountain, I got plenty of good cell signal, but um, this is a really great way, especially if you're running sideband, uh, to get set up. Now, if I'd been on the summit, uh, on the other summit last weekend, I didn't have any, I couldn't spot anything, even though I was running CW. Um, you now, a friend of mine I was hiking with, uh, W6RWS, um, th that weekend, it was a couple weekends actually, and uh, he spotted me, he had had just enough cell, or no, I, I take that back, he also had an in reach and he got me spotted and off I went and we got our contacts and went on to the next summit. But uh, yeah, so let's give that a try and I'm gonna show you how that works. Okay. Um, so I've opened up the Sodamat app. I've chosen uh, my summit ID, or basically the, the uh, W6SC, and then I punched in 214. I chose the band, uh, mode and band that I wanted to um, activate on from the list that I entered into Sodamat. And it's created a message that it will send out on FT8. In this case, it's so um, CR Mike space N1 CLC my call sign slash to Hotel Victor Lima. That that code basically is one of the co possible combinations that Sodomat knows is my suffix and equates to that particular um, summit ID and mode and band. So um, we're going to try sending that by launching Hot Paw FT8 app on the iPhone. And uh, we're gonna crank that out at the top and bottom of the hour here. We're gonna crank it out twice um, and get going. So let's try that. Alright, I'm spotted. I didn't notice it already came through. And so uh, let's see if we can't make some contacts here. Uh, 227. I'm going to plug in my little uh, baby mic here <laughs> that I made. We're going to do that. CQ, CQ, CQ. This is November 1, Charlie Lima Charlie calling CQ, CQ, CQ for Summits on the Air, any station, anywhere. CQ, 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 November 1, Charlie Lima, Charlie, calling CQ, CQ for Summits on the Air, any station, anywhere. CQ, CQ, November 1, Charlie Lima, Charlie, Summits on the Air, any station, anywhere. Whiskey Zero, Whiskey Five, Oscar down the Sierra. Okay, I think I heard uh, Whiskey Zero go again. Yes, Whiskey Zero, Mike, November Alpha. Hey, good morning, Gary. Uh, got you about a 5.8, five, 5.8, eight, five, eight, sir. <clears throat> yes, about a 5.8. I've got you about the same here, Chris. All righty. Thanks for another contact, Gary. Have an awesome day. This is November 1, Charlie Lima, Charlie. Whiskey 5, Oscar Delta Sierra. Okay, Whiskey 5, ODS. Gary, number 2. Good morning, sir. Got you about 5.8 uh, as well. Uh, QSI 
Alrighty, thank you, Gary. This is November 1, Charlie Lima, Charlie, QRZ. Whiskey, Zebra, Echo, Romeo, India. Good morning, Martha. I got you about a 5'8", 5'8". And you are 5'8", also, into Kansas. Thanks a lot, Chris, 73. Alrighty, thank you, Martha. Have an awesome day. <laughs> kind of slim pickings this morning on sideband. I'm glad I got spotted. Uh, this FT8 worked perfectly, just as advertised. Um, I actually I think my spot went out the first time I sent uh, the FDA message. Um, this is really, really cool. We're going to try it again uh, for CW this time. And uh, we'll set up there. I'm going to do it twice, so we're going to transmit our FT8 signal twice, um, and as you can see here, it's one Yankee Bravo Delta. All right. So now I'm going to jump down to 7058, tune up, and we're ready to go. Let's see if I got spotted. Should have. All right, well, um, definitely works. I sent out, uh, I did a spot on 40 and 20 meters, um, one on sideband, one on CW, and uh, it works great. It's really pretty cool. And uh, I'm gonna go over the particulars here. Um, wanted to get back to the QTH. And I'm gonna try to set up a uh, voice conference with Brian and see uh, it, either this video or a future one and uh, get some input from him and uh, how he came up with it, etc. But uh, this is a really cool way of being able to spot yourself when you're on a summit with no other way to spot. Um, like me, the other day, I have my cool in reach, but the batteries were dead, so that didn't do me a whole lot of good. Um, so, super handy. If you want to learn more about spotting, go to hamninja.com slash spotting. That lists all the different ways that you can spot yourself uh, which is really helpful when you're doing sideband um, from a mountaintop running 5 watts. So take a look at that and uh, see what you think. Any feedback is always welcome. So I'm going to cut over here uh, to Kilo November 6 UIB and uh, we're going to see how many contacts he got. Uh, Levi, how many contacts you get, buddy? I got 16 today. 16 contacts. And uh, what was your farthest contact, do you know? Um, I'm, I'm not sure. I have to go look at, see, I took every I had, took everything down, but I didn't uh, get many uh, locations, so I'm going to have to go look everyone up. Okay. See what that is. All right. Um, so, basically, compared to your other summit, how was this one? Um, I think last summit, I got... The same, maybe a little less. Okay. So probably like maybe 10, 15, something around there. I can't remember exactly. Okay, cool. Well, did you have fun? Yeah, of course. <laughs> All right. Well, there you have it. If he can have fun, so can you on two meters. Um, we got our K W6RWS over here trying to work some sideband, doing a little chasing himself. He's chasing some other summits, see if he can get some summit to summit action. So not a whole lot of people up this early in the morning. We got up here pretty early, but uh, he rocked it on um, two meter as well. And uh, yeah, we're having a great time up here on Iron Mountain outside of San Diego. 
So I'm gonna pack up and uh, get ready to get cracking. All right. Hey. How'd you do? All right. We made it back. We made it. <laughs> How many contacts you get? Uh, not too many. I was mostly watching Lee, but I got five. Okay. Did you get any summit to summits? One summit to summit. Oh, awesome. Yeah. All right. Let's check this guy sitting in the cool shade. So. How'd you do up there? How many contacts? 16. Made 16 contacts? How many summit to summits? Uh, summit to summits, I got two, I believe. Two. You got one for sure when I was there. That's yeah. cool. Yeah, and I got that guy too. Very awesome. Dad, Dad got him too. Yeah? Oh, okay. awesome. Yeah. All right. Well, good hike, but what? Very, very, very hot. Okay. <laughs> you heard it. It was hot out here. It is kind of a hot drag, but the wind breeze just picked up and we're in the shade. Yeah. The cars just started, AC's on. We're gonna go grab some iced tea. I'm gonna buy everybody a breakfast burrito. You up for that? All right. Well, let's roll the credits. But before I do, if you like this video and you wanna see my ego get even bigger, and who doesn't wanna see that? Hit the like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.